This video is for anybody who's finding spreadsheets difficult, who's struggling with spreadsheets. And I suppose you're on a spreadsheets YouTube channel, so maybe you are struggling a bit uh, with spreadsheets. And I want to tell you my spreadsheet story uh, because it was not always easy. In fact, to begin with and throughout my kind of learning path with spreadsheets, I've found them really difficult and I've been stuck so many times felt very depressed about you know being a spreadsheet developer lots and lots of times and I wanted to kind of try to put that into a video so you understand you know what it's like what it's like learning spreadsheets and maybe you know what learning uh, is like generally because it's really really hard I've been there and I wanted to share some tips I'm going to share three tips in this video video three ideas for working through that uh, three kind of long-term strategic things that are going to help you uh, with your learning with your business learning particularly with uh, learning spreadsheets so let's talk about uh, well i want to tell you about my background first and firstly i'm not uh, a computer programmer that's something that people sometimes uh, find surprising they see me doing uh, programming videos on youtube but my background is not in uh, computer programming. My background is in art subjects and I first encountered spreadsheets on the master's program that I did 2008-2009. I enrolled into a master's program University of Warwick. Uh, the master's program was in business analysis. The reason I did this master's program was I was actually working in uh, Japan for a public relations company and uh, advising European and American clients on entry into the Japanese market, how to get into the Japanese market. And the reason, Kuda's here by the way, she's gonna help us with this video. And the reason I did the masters was because I didn't feel I had strong analytical skills. I wanted to be able to build a business case for doing certain things. And I didn't feel I had strong analytical skills in order, in order to, to do that. That's why I enrolled on the masters. The masters was in business uh, analytics, and you know I saw it online. It was at the university where I did my undergrad degree anyway. I saw it online, business analysis masters. That's exactly what I need. Now, when I enrolled uh, for the masters, uh, the people running the program actually said to me, "You know, you don't have a numerical background. Uh, are you sure this program is for you? There's going to be lots of statistics." lots of spreadsheets, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But at that time, I was feeling quite positive about learning. I just moved back to the UK and, you know, I was, I was ready for it. So I started the master's program. And to be honest, it did not go well at all, that master's program. Uh, in, it's a very intense program. So you've got 10 weeks in the autumn term. Anyone who's done a master's degree in the UK will be familiar with this setup. You've got autumn term, 10 weeks, you do five core modules really tough master's level modules and I was coming coming into a lot of new kind of academic territory for me uh, statistics lots of numbers based problems and particularly lots of spreadsheets you know we were doing five modules every day I was encountering spreadsheets and didn't have any real experience with spreadsheets so much like a lot of people watching this video will be trying to do now you know I was just trying to get spreadsheets to work trying to familiarize myself with all the functions uh, but really really struggling and got to a point where I almost left this master's program because I just didn't feel confident there was lots of topics statistics I was doing badly in doing badly in the assessments but at some point it began to turn around and in the end uh, you know I had some great teachers on the course and in the end I did really well on this master's and I actually teach at this university one day a week now uh, which if you're tell me if you told me back then I never would have believed that but and the reason it turned around was because I managed to uh, get into spreadsheets I managed to start getting good at spreadsheets uh, sorry I think my dog's just right in front of the camera there I managed to start not get good but I was able to contribute we were doing a lot of group work and in the spreadsheet module I was able found a way to contribute you know and this brings me to the first point about spreadsheet learning which 
And it also brings me to a point about the richness of the topic at spreadsheets, but spreadsheet learning. There's so many access points uh, when we're thinking about spreadsheets. Um, the spreadsheet is not just a numerical construct. Uh, it's not just a computer program. There's so many artistic elements uh, to spreadsheets. If we're thinking about dashboards, then this uh, is an artistic process. There's also a kind of social element. It may sound silly, but I do believe this. There's a kind of social element to spreadsheets because if there's a spreadsheet, it means somebody is trying to get something done. So that means in order to be a good spreadsheet developer, you've got to understand what that person is trying to do. And there may be multiple people using the spreadsheets. There may be different opinions on what the spreadsheet should do. So there's kind of an artistic element to spreadsheets. There's also this social element, this uh, client interaction, understanding uh, what people want. And I found that these uh, were my access point my access point to spreadsheets. And this is my first tip I've got for your spreadsheet learning. There's lots of access points to the topic. Find an access point. If you're like me, I was from a more arts-based, artistic background, my access point to spreadsheets was actually being able to talk to a client and understand what they wanted. You know, being able to speak to them, ask them helpful questions, and then translate that all into a brief. And then in the, in the context, context of the masters I was doing, I was able to give that to the group and the brief I created, you know, got re really good marks, really good marks for the group. So that's an access point to spreadsheets. Nothing to do with numbers, statistics, nothing to do with computer programming. It's actually to do with kind of interacting with people. And I also found that the visual aspect, as I said, the artistic or visual aspect of spreadsheet development appealed to me. Um, I was interested in creating these dashboards, moving shapes around, formatting. Uh, I was also interested in creating uh, what are called dependency diagrams. Now, in spreadsheets, we talk about formulae. Formulae consists of dependencies, so we can represent those dependencies visually uh, in a dependency diagram. So I was in this group work situation. I was able to produce some pretty cool visuals of uh, dashboards and um, a, a dependency diagram. Now, to be honest, I wasn't sure how to implement. I had no idea how to implement this dashboard. And even the dependency diagram, I didn't know how to build the formulae that the dependency diagram was actually communicating. Uh, so I was really far behind on the formulae, on the programming, but I found myself an access point. And gradually on the program, this became a kind of point of stability for me. You know, I was really struggling with other parts and then I could just sit down with a spreadsheet and I thought this one part, just this one little bit, I know I can do and I know I can contribute. And just very gradually, I was able to build confidence from that. So um, I was able to move into formulae, understand formulae better. I always remember the offset formula. I don't know why, but you'll see videos on my channel about the offset formula and using it in programming in VBA as well. Learned the offset formula, that was a big step for me and gradually got into the programming side. But the access point was actually like the social aspect of the problem, interacting with a client, uh, being able to write a brief, and then the visual and artistic aspects. And this is why I'm so fascinated with spreadsheets, you know, even today, so fascinated with the topic, because there's this artistic element, visual element, there's a computer programming element, there's a social element, interacting with a client, and so many different skills being called on there. So you've got to find yourself an access point to get into spreadsheets. Are you a computer programmer? If you've already done HTML programming, then you'll be familiar with the coding, coding language so you can get into access the topic via Visual Basic. Um, if you're from a software background like I was, I was working in public relations, then you can work on the social aspects of it. Uh, and if you're just more, more artistic, there's the whole visual aspect you can look at as well. So find yourself an access point, focus on that, and then slowly build out from there you'll be able uh, to build your skills. So this is the first point. My second point is you've got to find yourself a mentor. You've got to find yourself somebody who can help with spreadsheets. Now, a lot of people out there working with spreadsheets and struggling, but most workplaces I've been to, workspaces, uh, there seems to be like a spreadsheet evangelist there. There's somebody who's quite confident with spreadsheets, who's quite happy to teach and help out. Now, I remember on my master's course, there's a gentleman on there called Philip Singer. Hi, Philip, if you're watching, I'm gonna send you a link to this video. 
this guy helped me massively. He was so generous uh, with his time, with his skills, uh, but he was enthusiastic. He wanted to learn. And he helped me get into formulae and into model building. Also had a great teacher, Andrew Martin, uh, at uh, Warwick Business School. And he was also a bit of an inspiration uh, for me. So you've got to find yourself a mentor. Might be somebody at work, might be a trainer, you know, might be somebody in your family. Find yourself a mentor, somebody who you can interact with, somebody who, who can kind of humanize spreadsheets for you. So you're not always just looking at a spreadsheet trying to understand it. You can actually uh, talk to somebody. So you've got to find yourself an access point, find yourself a mentor. And then thirdly, you've got to find yourself a good set of learning resources. Now, I don't want this to sound like a sales pitch, uh, but you've got my channel, reasonable set of learning resources there lots of learning resources online maybe i was fortunate to be doing a master's degree now i'm not saying you should go out and pay for a master's degree it costs a lot of money and you've got to think very carefully about whether that's right for you but if you're doing a master's degree you'll have access to a good set a good set of resources there and obviously you've got channels like mine lots of resources online so so get yourself into one of these youtube channels one of these websites follow somebody online get yourself a good set uh, of learning resources so that's my spreadsheet story, really, really struggled at the beginning, had no idea, but then was able to, to access the topic. And I was more into the visual, artistic, social aspects of the problem, able to access the, the uh, topic, found myself some good mentors, some people to help out, and then had access to a good set of learning resources. And these things combined together helped really push me along my spreadsheet journey. Don't want it to sound too cliche, but you know, my learning path. In spreadsheets so that's a little bit about me my spreadsheet story I really want to know your spreadsheet story so where are you with spreadsheets so please leave a comment below the video are you just getting started I love it when people are just getting started with spreadsheets come into my channel learning just leave me a comment I want to know about that maybe you're a computer programmer you're just getting into VBA leave a comment uh, let me know and you know I'm just really happy you're on the channel trying to learn about spreadsheets. So that's my spreadsheet story. I want to hear your spreadsheet story. Please leave a comment below. I'll see you in another video on the channel.